Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On the series Strategy Game, and we're returning to our hyper capitalist Germany playthrough in Democracy 4. Still early alpha and everything, but things are quite exciting. So, we've just been re re elected, and we're gonna start our second term over here. And I've been thinking a little bit about what we want to do and what we want to achieve here in terms of this capitalist playthrough. And I want to implement one specific policy. So, this is gonna be our objective here. We want to introduce the flat income tax. So we do, of course, have an income tax for now, but it's a progressive one. So um, high incomers are taxed at a different rate than low income people. And we want to go into that flat income tax. It's not quite a head tax, so it's still everyone who is earning more pays more, but it's just extremely proportional. Now, pretty much everyone dislikes that, but that's also, of course, true uh, for the income tax in itself. So we've made the pledge to cut that anyway. So I think it would be fantastic uh, to actually do that and see how that is going to change um, our overall society. There's one issue with that, and that is it's a very, very, very expensive uh, policy to implement. 43 political power. We currently can only save up 40 political power. So... We do need to work a little bit for that, but I'm fairly optimistic that we might be able to do that. So let's try to see what we can do. Uh, specifically, I want to uh, cater towards the capitalists over here and just see what we can do to help them out. Now, one thing that they really, really hate is the diverted profit tax that we did introduce at one point to tackle, um, well, companies moving their profits abroad. And I think we can get rid of that. So if we cancel that, that is going to help out the capitalists. It is also going to help with our foreign relations. And that, in turn, is going to help us with importing rare earth uh, things. So that's going to get rid of one of the negative effects that we've got. So let's cancel this policy. It's not actually that expensive. And let's do that. Now, I want to do one more thing. And that is, I recognize that we are still banning Sunday shopping. And that's really not something that I think we should do in a capitalist society. Religious people love that. Liberals hate that GDP is suffering. Trade unionists are happy about that, but we do not in fact have any trade unionists. So even though their happiness is at zero, they are not much of a problem because their membership is also at zero because basically we outlawed any uh, type of labor union. So if we do ban uh, if we get rid of the ban on Sunday shopping, though, you can see that the religious people, who are currently upset about a lot of things like sex work, cell research, gay marriage, they're really, really screwed by that. But they are pretty happy that we've got the ban, a ban on Sunday shopping. So for now, they're not much of a problem. But we could try to bring their membership down a little bit more as well. You can see they're around about 20. 5%, 21, 20, oh no, 25%, pretty much exactly. That's lower than I thought. Um, due to these various effects over here. So one of the effects that is driving them up is, in fact, the school prayers over here. So if we got rid of the school prayers, we would drive down their happiness, but we would also drive down their membership. And that is kind of tempting to do. So I think that is what we're going to do exactly over here. So no more school prayers. And if we look at the um, secularity of education, I would like to lower that as well, so that ultimately we might be able to bring down their membership to basically zero. How much would that do over here? So that would already reduce that by seven percentage points. So I think that's going to be nice. I would like to bring it down further, actually. So maybe let's wait a little bit over here, and uh, let's do that in the next round with a bit more... Um, with a bit more um, of an effect there. One thing we could do in the meantime is work safety laws. Now, self-employed people hate that, um, and we just got rid of one thing that is helping them out, so let's cancel this policy as well, and we're going to have no, no rules on what is or is not allowed. So that's kind of weird, but there's one thing I also want to do, is I want to help out the environment a little bit. Now, our CO2 emissions are probably... They are not actually that high. Well, that's interesting to see. Yeah, we are doing a lot of these things over here. Clean energy subsidies, for example, which I don't necessarily like to do. So one of the better ways to approach that is maybe to just allow people to do carbon capture and storage. I don't want to pay for that too much. Oh, this is already pretty expensive. 
but you know what? okay let's let's max it out anyway so yeah we're just gonna allow people to do that in a way and that is also gonna drive down co2 emissions and i think that's uh, just gonna be a much cleaner way of doing things that is spending all of our political power so let's uh, take the turn over here our our team is exiting the world cup so that's not great but the global economy is recovering somewhat and indeed our economy is maxed out again so that's nice to see our expenditures are coming up here a little bit due to the ccs but still we are running a very comfortable surplus over here no adapt to gdp ratio is going down very nicely over here so that's great to see oh and we are at 44 so ah, we could actually we could pretty much implement that next turn well that's interesting now i i'm slightly concerned about the religious people though because their happiness is going to come down pretty drastically over here uh, and i would like their membership to to basically go down at the same time so yeah and this is this is much delayed so i don't want to have them uh, sticking around too long so what we're going to do instead in, is just go for this over here so um, get rid of the no sorry no 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 we want to do a secular emphasis over here of course so if we bring that up to this point religious membership is going to drop by 18 percentage points liberalism is going to go up that's nice to see liberals are going to be a lot happy about that and religious people are not exactly happy about this but i think this is going to be all right if we can bring them down fast enough um i think that's going to be great yeah i think they're their membership here is is gonna tank in just a moment so that's pretty nice to see and that will ultimately allow us to ban sunday shopping here without too much of an effect i think i hope let's see whether that is that hope is maybe in vain but yeah i'm at least intrigued about that there are a couple of other things that i would like to change up over here for example the labor laws i would very much like to drive them to a pro employer setting down here that's going to increase productivity and again we're going to bring down socialism so that would be really nice um and it would actually well the gig economy is going to stay anyway um and socialists and trade unions we don't really care about their opinion wages would go down where are wages currently they're ca kind of low which is interesting because gdp is maxed out anyway but by the way there's one extremely interesting factor that i did discover in between episodes so you can see mostly due to our very high gdp We've, we are seeing a lot of immigration to our country. A lot of immigration. If we look at the membership of people over here, you can see ethnic minorities, as ethnic minorities, mind you, actually make up 98% of our voters. I found that quite quite funny. But yeah, basically this is this is maxed out in terms of membership, so it's it's kind of it's kind of curious um by the way if we look at this over here if we look at border controls ethnic minorities dislike that immigration is coming down but this is basically maxed out anyway so and patriots do dislike it but if we brought that down a little bit just a little bit over here i think people ethnic minorities would be a lot happier about that and tourism would come up a little bit immigration would be basically unchanged because it is maxed out already so yeah, that's kind of funny funny twist over here don't think we need to do that right now but it's it's kind of curious to see that that is in effect in the game over here so right um how much have we got for political power i don't think there's much that we can do uh, with four political power i did kill the work safety law didn't i yeah i did so anything any sort of cheap policy that we want to briefly introduce well the welfare fraud department is kind of nice but I don't think it's really required. City farms now. I don't think that's that's good. Carpooling campaign. It's it's kind of a nice thing, right? It's just encouraging people, right? And car usage. Bringing car usage down would be really lovely. It's pretty high. The environment is suffering from that, and basically there's a lot of gridlock stuff and everything. You know what? I think it's fine. It's it's just encouraging people to do this. So. Yeah, I think it's it's okay. Let's do it like that. It's only going to have a minor impact here, but mm, still. Um, let's go to the next turn then and see what we can do. So, extradite terror suspect. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Patriots like that. Liberals not so much. Eh, it's not really much of an issue. Um, GDP doing fine. Health coming up. That's good to see. Unemployment coming down. That's also nice to see. Crime basically at zero. 
poverty, slightly higher than I would like it to be, but I suppose that's all right. We are seeing a lot of taxes here, even as the global economy is coming down further, our GDP is doing fine, so that's good to see. Yeah, and we can still go for 44 political power, so let's make sure that we are saving up at least, well, 22, so we can't really spend much, two to be precise. So I don't think that's much that we want to do with these two political power. Well, we do need to do that, otherwise we're gonna lose some. Two to three is gonna be fine. So, banning Sunday shopping is out of the question. It's curious that the capitalists don't have any opinion on that, by the way. Infotaris tourism ad campaign. This is not a bad one, but it's also not a great one. Yeah, this is too expensive. Probably everything over here is too expensive, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't want to do any subsidies or anything. So, yeah, that's probably just a no-no. Oh, obesity is going to go away. That's that's very nice because that is actually driving up the uh, cost of our vouchers over here. And that might actually lead to less, less demand here on... Yeah, obesity is driving healthcare demand. And that is leading to a large effect of the hospital overcrowding, which parents really hate. And there's not much we can do to t tackle that directly. Um, other than trying to indirectly help out the health stuff. Internet crime coming down, but I don't think it's going to go away. Yeah, it's going to go, go, only going to be a little bit smaller than that. Not much we can do about that, other than very, very drastic measures. Alcohol abuse, still a big thing. And you're just still very, very high. Largely driven by tobacco usage, actually, to, to a very large effect. 19 percentage points. We could increase tobacco taxes a little bit, but I think everyone is sort of going to hate that. Yeah. And it's pretty expensive as well. So, yeah, probably just no. Any of these taxes we want to address? No. I don't think that's something that we want to address right now. CCS, that's fine. Yeah, nothing of that is is something that I want to address right now. Adult education subsidies, productivity is high, right? Yeah, it is pretty high. School sports, we're doing that anyway. Sec work is probably going to be extremely expensive to change. Yeah, it is, because it is pretty controversial, I think. So, yeah, I guess that does make sense. Do we have private prisons, by the way? No, we do not. We should think about introducing that at some point as the proper capitalists that we are. Yeah, but no, no big thing over here. So, you know, we're just going to go for the tourism ad campaign. It's not expensive and it's uh, leading to a little bit more tourism and a little bit more foreign relation. And that's nice to see. Right, next turn it is. We're going to save that up. Obesity gone away. That's great to see. Uh, we're certainly not going to ban anything. We're going to keep it capitalist over here. That's great to see. Real estate bubble still around. And it's probably going to trigger once we get rid of the rent controls. But there's not much that we can do directly to address that. And we probably want to get rid of that at some point. Nevertheless, here's the big one. So here's our budget. We currently have a surplus of 30 billion per quarter. We are earning 33, uh, 88 billion from the income tax that we want to get rid of entirely. So we want to make it. Uh, we want to make. We want to get basically 56 billion from any other tax that we want to introduce, introduce in its place. So let's go to flat income tax over here and let's implement that at a level where it's at least gonna bring in 56 billion or so in terms of income. Yeah, and this all pretty, seems pretty linear. Well, except that the poor people are gonna hate that at this point. Okay, yeah, but that's fine. We don't need to be quite as aggressive. So. 56 is the target that we want to go for over here, but um, let's make it uh, an even 30% over here. So that we're still running a little bit of a surplus, but I think that's going to be fine. Let's apply that. We have only one political power left, so we can't do much with that, but oh, we can actually change a couple of things. That's interesting to see. Electric cost initiatives. Are you spending money? Yeah, you are, so I'm not going to do that for anyone. Needle exchange program. I, I didn't think we had that, but it's good to see that we do. Prisoner tagging. 
Race Discrimination Act. If I increase that, liberals will like that, ethnic minorities will like that, everyone else will not. Okay, so it's not a big one. Yeah, it's only one political power on the other hand, so eh. Right, how is hospital overcrowding doing? Yeah, since, since the obesity dropped away, I think this is starting to look a little bit better soon, or it's gonna at least. Getting rid of internet crime would be really so nice. And alcohol abuse too, but there's not much that we can do. Right, let's go to the next turn over here. Oh, there's a plane crash. Well, that's lovely. There's a demand from one of our donors. And you want rural development grants. Let's look at the policy. So the poor are going to be happy. Equality is going to go up. GDP is going to go up. Car usage is going to go up, which is not good. Rail usage, eh, that's okay. Uh, farmers membership and unemployment is going to come down. But I don't want to do grants. So you are going to go away. Multinational tax evasion is coming up again, but it seems to be below the stop trigger here. So you know what? I think I think we're going to be fine. We don't need to we don't need to be too concerned if it's not going to be above the start trigger. So yeah, I think that's that's okay. Right, we do for large surplus now, uh, but that is largely driven by the fact that we are double taxing people now uh, with a progressive income tax and another one. So. Yeah, let's simply cancel the income tax entirely. That is still going to leave us with a big surplus over here. Uh, but I do think specifically the capitalists are going to be very happy about that, shouldn't they? Yeah, I don't think it shows up anymore. But yeah, you guys should be... Oh, it's interesting that you're ticking down slightly. Curious, curious, really. Right, so we have introduced the flat income tax actually now. So that is very lovely. Uh, we do have 16 political powers. There is... Well, we can... You know what? Let's ban... Let's get rid of the... The ban on Sunday shopping here. The religious are going to hate that. Yeah, their, their happiness is going to come down very much. Over time. But the membership is also decreasing. So... Yeah, I think... I think it's going to be alright. Right, let's go to the next turn. I'm really intrigued to see... Oh, damn it. Okay, this is the thing now. We are facing the rare earth crisis. That is driving down the tech advantage, productivity, GDP, car transition. And this might actually stop to be a thing for us, which is going to again decrease productivity. And that might actually lower our high productivity. So all of this is going to be super, super bad. We're, of course, going to allow that because it's going to drive up GDP. Okay, so yeah, we're back to a sort of a more normalized state over here. And I think our popularity is extremely high with most people. Curiously enough, the people who hate us the second most, next to religious people and the non-existent trade unionists, are the wealthy. Due to the flat income tax, really? We have the inheritance tax and the solidarity tax, yeah. That's fine. I can, I can understand. How is hospital overcrowding doing? That's nice. It's coming down. It might actually stop. And th that would make you super happy. Uh, by the way, let's look at the pensioners here because I'm, I'm intrigued to see how your happiness is doing. You're not actually that upset that we entirely cancelled out your state pensions because it's been basically picked up by private pensions. Interesting, isn't it? Private pensions maxed out. So that's lovely to see. Yeah, people can and, and should to private private uh, retirement savings that's that's interesting to see right flat income tax interesting interesting approach over here i'm really intrigued to see how that changes so poor earnings are actually are actually pretty stable over here under this concept middle earnings looking pretty fine and high earnings should go up a little bit so yeah it's a perfect system what's not to like interesting interesting effects over here um, by the way, religious people, um, what again, what's driving up your membership? Not much. The school prayers are going to go away. Right, so... Yeah, I think that's okay. Good, good, I like it. Um, so, we do need to address the rare earth crisis, right? So, let's in look into economy. So, that is going to cost us 32 political power. That's fine, we are generating quite a bit over here, so that's lovely to see. I would also like to go under tax and do a carbon tax. That is 39 political power, so that's kind of expensive. And in terms of transport, I would like to go for satellite road pricing. All of that is super expensive, but we do have some political power, so that's fine, I think. 
Um, have we changed our, the educational focus on secularity and stuff? Where's that? Um, should be a fish symbol somewhere? Or did the symbol change when I... I don't think the symbol ever changes, does it? Okay, we can also go to the religious... Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Right, now you're fine. So we have changed that up. That's, that's good to see. Right, and we've gotten rid of the other things as well. So that's all pretty good. So basically the only thing that I would like to change then is the labor laws. So that's over here, right? So let's shift that to be a lot more pro-employee. Going to drive up the working week. Capitalists are happy. Productivity is going to go up. Socialist membership is going to go down. So basically I think we're going to be rid of all of them. Which is lovely. Yeah, let's apply these changes. 12 political power, that is expensive. But I think it's fine. Right, so that would leave us 33. Yeah, and I think that's just basically enough to um, go for other things. Uh, no, we are not going to improve the tenancy rights. That's certainly not. We've got a new donor. That's nice to see. Real estate bubble, still a thing. That's um, to be slightly concerned. But right. Global economy, slightly recovering over here. So that's good to see. Still running surplus. I'm really, really happy about how this is going. There are not that many negative effects if you ignore the environment completely. But actually, pollution is coming down. Interesting. Why? Reforestation, is that it? No, that's just 10 percentage points. Really interesting to see why that is coming down. Well, population... No, that's, that's pretty high. I don't know why that is coming down. Also, I don't know why population is driving that down. Maybe there's a mistake there? I don't know. Interesting. Car usage? Yeah, well, it's dropping, and the environment might be doing a little bit better due to that. Just on a really, really low level. Yeah. So, but if you ignore the environment, uh, which we're gonna, just going to screw again. Oh, uh, by the way, how high are you exactly? You're pretty high. Yeah, so I think the year effect here is, is something that's concerning. So that would need to drop by at least 30%. So let's go over here and do the rare earth metal mining. Gonna be expensive, but I do think we need to introduce it. And I think we need to be aggressive in introducing it, because I'm not even sure that that is gonna help out. Environmentalists are gonna hate it. Capitalists are gonna love it. Pollution is gonna go up dramatically. Okay, let's let's see how, how that is gonna turn out. I really don't know whether, whether that is gonna be enough. But yeah, uh, labor laws we did change, right? I, I do think we did. It's tiny now, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Good. Sander shopping. Okay, that's all good. So that basically only leaves two big laws that we do need to. Really? Really? Conservatives hate us. Tax evasion? Nope, that's looking good. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, this is this is slightly concerning. But I do hope that at least this is going to go away soon. No, it's just going going to go up. That's, that's not good enough. That does need to come in, into effect a little bit more over here. How's hospital overcrowding? Yeah. If that was just a little bit better, that would be so fantastic. How's health looking? Oh, it's coming down here. Why is it coming down so drastically? Interesting effect. Why? Pollution? Oh, yeah. The pollution is going to go up again, so that will probably lower that. Ah, unfortunate. This is decreasing health, though, right? So if we could get rid of the alcohol abuse, that would be fantastic. And one of the ways that we could do that is by the alcohol tax. 23, you would be, yeah, I think just two political power. I don't think there's much that we need to do here, right? So let's just do that. Squatter rights, um, no, we're going to evict them. Then I don't think there are that many socialists anymore. So are there actually? Let's look at the membership over here. There still are a couple, but I think their, their numbers are further decreasing over time here. Around 10 percentage points still. So that is something that we do need to reduce. That being said, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go under tax over here. And we're going to go with the alcohol tax. And hoping to bring down alcohol consumption at least to the point where it doesn't have an effect here on health anymore. This probably has an effect on health directly as well, right? And it's driving down productivity. But it's really hard to see how, just how much we need to do that. 
Nevertheless, it's certainly detrimental to us, so let's drive it. And you know what? I think sort of the middle over here is going to be fine. That is what we're going to do. Right. Um, yep, yeah, that should be okay. So let's go for the next turn over here. Disguised employment. Um, no, 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 no. We do like the we do like the gig economy, so that's fine. Real estate bubble still not a thing. Poverty going up due to the alcohol tax. That's unfortunate. I think we might have some problems with the poverty soon. Right, this is starting to come down at least. Slowly. But maybe not fast enough. Right, how about the alcohol consumption? Yeah, it's dropping now, so that's good to see. And I think it should be dropping over some time over here, right? Yeah. So I think that might be enough to get rid of the alcohol abuse. Which is fine, because that is going to improve our health. And if our health is going to be improved, that means our health care demand is going to go down. And that means the hospital overcrowding is hopefully going to go away. <laughs> and that just would be so brilliant. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's see about that. Right. Um, yeah. Alcohol abuse. We just tackle that. And internet crime. Yeah. There's just no way how we can get rid of that. Because our technology is doing too well. We would have gotten rid of that a long time ago. Well, if we had gotten rid of that, it wouldn't start being an issue again. But it would just be there. And some of it's interesting because that is being influenced by crime. But it's also influencing crime in itself. So there's this sort of mutual unvirtuous cycle that, that is going on here. Which is not great. Oh, well, the rare earth crisis, right? We can't get rid of that with just the mining. But we do know that better foreign relations would go a long way to help out there, right? So, yeah, let's try to implement that. And let's go for maximum funding on that. It's not that expensive anyway. And that just might help out a little bit as well. Yeah, I think that would be great. Look at how happy everyone is, including the environmentalists, which I really, really find curious because we didn't really do that much for them. But still, it's it's interesting to see uh, that they were doing that. So, yeah, that's okay. Religious people? No, yeah. How is your membership looking? Coming down very, very gradually here, but I think you'll be fine at all. So that's good to see. Right, so in terms of tax, I think we still want to do the CO2 tax. So that we can basically establish that. So that would cost us what? I think, um, and the satellite road pricing, right? 45 political power. Um, we would have to earn, well, this is slightly beyond what we can do right now but the co2 would work so that's 39 if we're earning 22 uh, that basically leaves us uh, 17 or something so yeah we can spend around 11 anything we want to spend that on digital independence don't think any of that is something that we want to touch right now i don't really like these subsidies but if we cut them i'm, I'm afraid what's going to happen Still, you know what, it's going to be fun to find out. Right, so food price, an issue here. Farmer membership, pretty high. Farmers pretty happy about that. Yeah, and the farmers are one of the groups that are currently not super happy with us, are they? Yeah, but we can't, I, I don't think we can justify having having this around. Let's, let's drop that entirely. I think that does make sense. We don't want to do subsidies. We're not we're not in the business of doing subsidies. So yeah, that's that's fine. We probably want to drop some of these regulations as well a little bit. Science funding I'm fine with. And it just might make some sense to introduce and that's kinda of funny, but it might make sense to go for internet censorship. What is this? Strong leader? trustworthy, compassionate. It might make some sense to go for internet censorship just for a short time. It's very costly to do that, but that would get rid of the internet crime, which does have a negative effect on everyone. And once that is gone, we could get rid of the internet censorship again. That's kind of an interesting approach. Let's, let's see about that. Right, garbage scam, that's not great because it's going to decrease foreign relations. But this is okay. This is certainly okay. 14. That's that's really nice. We are really, really at a really good depth level over here. So that's that's great to see. 
Uh, ooh, can't I do that? 39. Oh, I only have 36? Oh, my bad. Why? Oh, I must have mis miscalculated there. Right, so 39, that's 17. So, yeah, we can do something with about 20 or so. Do we need to do anything with 20? Hmm. Compulsory work for the unemployed. That would be kind of interesting. Don't think there's anything that we want to do over here. Yeah, there's small business grants and everything, but I don't think we want to spend that specifically on someone. So, yeah, let's just look at the regulations that we have going on over here. We've got pollution controls, which are helping out the environment a lot, but capitalists dislike them. Yeah, it's not a good good way to do that directly. I think what's missing from the game is sort of the an approach to do trading, so... Lacking that, it's it's kind of suicidal to, to get rid of that and, and see what's going to happen. But we just might w want to do that then. It would be a kind of interesting experiment here to, to see just how bad the environment can get if we got rid of uh, these subsidies and, and regulations that we've got still. You know what? Let's cancel it. I, I want to find out what's going on over here if, if we do cancel that. It's not necessarily a good play, I think. It's it's just an interesting play, in a way. Eco-home regulations, energy efficiency, environmental membership, CO2. Yeah, capitalists dislike it. Let's get rid of that, too. And let's go to the next turn. I think the... Oh, alcohol abuse is gone, so that's lovely to see. Oil drinking, drilling? Yeah, of course we're going to allow that. Um, crime is basically gone away entirely now that's good to see that's really good to see so alcohol abuse is gone and that means probably the internet crime is also going to come down a little bit but only a little bit so that's not going to be enough right and we do have a lot of political power now so in terms of tax i don't think we can no in terms of transport we can't do the satellite road pricing yet but we can introduce a co2 tax yeah let's go ahead and implement a carbon tax i think we're going to max it out Ooh, that has a very important effect on GDP, and everyone actually hates it. Air travel is going to collapse, capitalists dislike it, motorists dislike it, but environmentalists love it. I want to find out just how good that is. Positive discrimination? No, 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 we're not going to do that. Oh, ethnic minorities hate that, so probably our po uh, popularity here is going to take a huge dip. Uh, by the way, GDP, so it's still holding up for now. That might be due to the fact that this has a delayed effect, so this is going to kick in over time. But, I think it just might have a good effect here on air travel, which has been basically maxed out, by the way. So, that's nice to see. And, I'm really intrigued to see how that is going to have an effect on, on the environment over here. 44 still, so we can't quite do satellite road pricing. I would love to do that. We just don't have enough political power, so that's that. It's, it's it's kind of unfortunate that we can't do that. Socialists would hate that. Capitalists would like it. You know what? Let's do it. Compulsory work for the unemployed. Poor and socialists hate it. GDP goes up. Middle income likes it. Capitalists do like it. Unemployment is going to come down. We're not going to look as compassionate, but socialists also will all but disappear. So that's going to be really nice because these are... I'm probably already a little bit crummy about it, but um, by the way, how about the religious people? Your membership slowly dropping, 15% now. You're really, really unhappy, so probably there might be some... No, no one is trying to murder us still, so that's interesting to see. Ooh, Patriots, what's going on? When sports are business, as let's... Ooh, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, someone is going to go away. What do we do you want? National Armed Forces Week? No. No, no, no. Multinational tax evasion? Still not a thing, so that's great. To see, actually. Everyone is, is a little bit crummy with us. Yeah, our popularity here is collapsing. How's GDP doing? GDP did not collapse, so that's interesting. How about the environment? Just how how closely can we can we help them out with the CO2 stuff? Well, it's not helping immediately, but that, I think, is due to the fact that some of this is really delayed. Like, for example, air travel here is being driven down only now. So that's interesting to see. How about CO2 emissions? 
coming down. So that's that's lovely to see. And I think you will be we'll be basically carbon neutral here as a hyper capitalist society. People smuggling, if yeah, allow them to stay, why not? Budget report. Still doing fine over here. World economy is also doing great. No one trying to murder us. And socialists should basically disappear now, right? Yeah, it's hard to see though, but yeah, compulsory work here. That is going to be basically making them extinct. So, very happy about that actually. And I do realise that we are running a little bit over time here. But, ah, just 42. That's lower than it was before. So probably some of these people here are starting to be unhappy. Why though? Patriot and capitalist. Oh yeah, the Patriots dis just took a huge, huge, huge dip over here, didn't they? What could we do to make the Patriots a little bit more happy? Yeah, the, this is a random event. That's that's really not that nice. We could go up with the military spending. Private space industry. I mean, we do have that, right? Yeah. That's good to see. Hmm. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything that we want to do specifically anymore. The internet crime. You know what? Let's try to get rid of the internet crime. Uh, just trying to find out just how that would work. So I think what we could do is we could do internet censorship. It's going to be expensive to implement that. Liberalism is going to go down. Pretty much everyone is going to hate that. But we don't need to have it on that long. We just... How's that costing anything? I don't think it should cost anything, right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's apply these changes. Let's go to the next turn over here. Child labor law. Criminized child. No, no, no. We're going to leave the law unchanged. No one likes that. Real estate bubble, still not a thing. GDP is starting to come down here due to the carbon tax mostly. But still at very, very high level. So I think that's that's fairly nice. Good. How about the internet crime? Starting to go down. Lovely. 42 is our maximum. Not great, but still doable. Um, any regulations that we want to get rid of? Smart meter. Organic farming subsidies. We could get rid of a lot of these subsidies, right? And we could get rid of this stuff. CO2 emissions, electric car transition, environment. Yeah, the environment is actually coming down, even though air travel should collapse over here. How about car usage? Yeah, it's still somewhat relevant. It's still somewhat equal over there. It's curious that satellite road pricing is so expensive. I don't I mean this is this is literally more expensive than cloning humans, so it's a little bit funny sometimes. Climate change adaptation fund might be an interesting approach over here. We do need to adapt a little bit, right? We've got the uh, we've got the rare earth crisis, which even though we've done we've introduced this, it just doesn't go away. This just will not go away. Interesting. And it's actually way above the star trigger. So I, actually I think what we need to do here is actually introduce a green a green thing but it's not what we're gonna do because that's not this 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 playthrough here yeah the environment just doing so poorly over here not much that we can do about this at least not within our terms over here you know what um let's try to get rid of the rent controls over here and see whether or not we're gonna have any change there I, i'm really intrigued by that so let's see about that Social care. We've all got to look at social care. So re retired people like it. Socialists. No, 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 no. Oh, this driving down healthcare demand. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of that because we're so close to being below the hospital overcrowding. Just might actually happen sometime around next turn. So, yeah, no, this is, this is fine. But healthcare demand, if it would only tick down a little bit. Right to die, social care, tobacco usage. Yeah, tobacco usage is still a big issue, right? So let's go ahead and increase the tax here a little bit. That shouldn't change things too much. Except, oh, no, plane crash, lovely. Demand from donor, what do we want? Unemployment benefits, no, no, this is not what we're doing here. Yeah, that's fine. 
And how do we look now in terms of respiratory stuff? This should come down because tobacco usage should come down. Well, it's going to be delayed for some time. But it should come down and that should improve health. And in a he improved health should reduce the demand over here. And that should just help out a little bit. We don't need that much in terms of health. Is there anything we do can do? No, I don't think so. Well, the cycling and everything, we don't want to overdo that. So basically, no. That's unfortunate. And again, the satellite road pricing, I would love that. I would love that. It would drive down car usage a lot. I would make our capitalists even happier, even though they are pretty much maxed out in that regard. We could legalize sex work a little bit more. Conservatives don't actually mind that much more. Religious, I don't care about. GDP would go up. Liberalism would go up, interestingly. You know what? Let's, let's apply that. Let's be super capitalist about that too. Internet censorship, still a thing. Because this is still a thing. But it is going to drop away next turn. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Because then we can drop this again here. And it's actually super expensive to cancel that. 27 political power. So, interesting that that would happen. You know what? I think if we cancel that now, that would already get rid of that. Oh, and by the way, law and order, don't we have private prisons? Yeah, we do. Sure. Sure, let's make that private. Capitalists love that. Unemployed. It's not going to cost us anything. Yeah, let's, let's get to private prisons. I think that's perfectly fine. So, internet crime is gone, but real estate bubble is there. Equality, yeah, young people hate that. And that's basically because we got rid of the rent controls. I don't think that's not much that we can do. Again, there's no, there's nothing we can do. Um, yeah, of course we're going to prosecute you. So, yeah. 42. My friends, I don't think we're going to get to 45. So, that is a bit of an issue. But, um, yeah, where's the internet censorship? Let's cancel that policy again. Um, let's see just how that is going to turn out then. Campaign speeches, debt protection law. Um, nope, we're going to allow you to operate. That's all fine. 40. You know what? I think we're going to go coast through the next election over here. Ooh, armed robberies are, are a thing because equality has all but collapsed. So people are now starting to rob people in the streets. You know what that means? We do need more firearms in, in our police force. So that should drive that down somewhat, but not actually that much, actually. Yeah, we do need to drive that down a lot. We could go for firearms laws, but this is starting to look a little bit crazy. CCTV cameras? Yeah, we could increase that. But it's also not going to have a huge effect. So, yeah. Exit World Cup again. New, new, new donor found, so that's nice to see. Health still going... Ooh, this is going down, actually. So that should actually mean that hospital overcrowding is... It would be so nice to get rid of that. Just so nice. But we just can't. It just doesn't seem like a possibility. And there's nothing we can do about the real estate bubble. How is... How is tobacco usage looking, actually? You are starting to look worse. And tobacco usage just doesn't go down at all. Right, my friends, I think this is the perfect place to conclude this. You know what? You know what? We're gonna do we're gonna go for the next turn over here. What do you mean? I, I did cut it by 25%. I did completely get rid of it. Well, 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 we are gonna achieve a win over here, but it's not quite a strict win as we did in the last time. I think the last time we did achieve more than 90%. Well we did still. So that's lovely to see, but yeah, I think my friends, it's it's a fine time to put in a cut. We are not going to get to the satellite road pricing, it's just out of the realm of our possibilities. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed, um, and we are going to continue our little episodes here with changing a country, and I think what we're going to do next time is take the United Kingdom and turn it socialist, so do sort of the opposite of what we've been doing here. 
But yeah, hope you enjoyed this little series and hope to see you around next time when we do play the United Kingdom. Bye bye guys!